All right, race fam, let's get cracking on Diablo Cross. This is my home race, and I spent almost the entire day before this getting ready to race. So I am excited to get into this course. It is super fast, essentially a crit race meets cycle cross race, and that's my kind of race. I liked it a lot. I had a fun, uh, fun time. The feedback on the race was great. There's one hard section, but other than that, it's just really fast. Some twisties, turnies, but for the most part, you can lay down all the power you want. Because it didn't rain, we had a nice dry course. So here's the whole shot. I settle in for fifth place here in the whole shot, and I'm pretty happy with that. The rear camera only worked for the first uh, minute or two in the first race. And then I, I did do two races today, uh, and I'll just show you the whole shot from the second race. Spoiler, it went well for me. Uh, but the rest of the race, uh, 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 some good, some bad. So this this turn kicked my butt all day. I really struggled with that turn. Uh, and then the course runs through these barns. Super interesting course. There's a couple little, uh, you know, with the, the facility cut this concrete. So that was challenging because there's that lip right there that just wants to eat up your tires. But I survived all day. Uh, all right. So... We have a group of, I think, maybe 10 or 15 of us racing in the Masters field. Uh, probably not even 15, but we got combined with the pro race. So there was only three pro uh, folks, Dan, Casey, and Chad, who's right in front of me here. I think those were the only three. There might have been four. If there's four, I apologize. But, um, but yeah, we're stuck together with the pros. That's fine. Uh, I, I protested because I wanted to get a separate start, but I was nobody listened to me. <laughs> so we all went together, which is totally fine. So, uh, all right. So the course uh there wasn't a ton to the course this part was interesting it was like sandy loose but not sandy like normal sand to slow you down it's for a horse showing area so anyway uh the course itself like i said super fast super dry uh tire pressure wise i'm 21 and 22 i think on my tubulars i'm riding my santa cruz stigmata cc the new version and uh, I'm excited for today. I felt really good about racing today. I had a lot of time to pre-ride the course. Actually, construct, you know, designed portions of the course uh, with my teammates' help and just really enjoyed that process. And uh, I certainly don't want to be in charge of a race, but I like jumping in and helping out a little bit. So anyway, so uh, Chad's going to – Chad here now is right in front of me. Actually, the second Chad. He lets the other Chad go past him. So Chad Hartley's in front of me. Chad's got like over 2,000 races in his legs, so he's a good person to be on the wheel, whether you're in a crit or a cyclocross race. He just has a really, really strong sense of the tactics at play and when and why to use power or not use power. So I learn a lot from him on the few moments that I can ride with him. Uh, and I, I, did, I did reassess my uh, activities here based on the season I've had with Chad so far. Because he tends to take off really strongly, and then he has this lull after about two, three minutes where he kind of settles down. And then typically, I know in the past, I would have said, oh, I feel good, I'm going to go past. But I thankfully was patient and just stayed on Chad's wheel. No other Masters racers are going by us. The pro, pro category is going to go up the road, that's fine. It doesn't seem to bother anybody here. So I feel good about my patience level here. Uh, and then later, I... I don't have patience, I guess, and that's going to cost me. So it's a I, I feel like a lot of my cyclocross um, lately is pacing issues, and I don't, I don't have a great answer for that because cyclocross is kind of a, just a full throttle pin it kind of activity. So the concept of pacing it is a little bit unique. But I find that I'll go out really strong for the first two laps, and then I'll uh, really struggle in laps three, four, five. And, and just kind of fall apart. So I'm wondering if there's not a better way to tackle this by being more patient. So anyway, uh, in this, now we're about to see the Berminator here in this course, which is the main feature of our course. Uh, we get a nice long straightaway here on concrete or asphalt to be able to hit this with speed. Interesting, interesting hit it with speed. I don't know if you can tell, but this little gravel section here is a dry creek bed and then you just get blasted up this hill and it is really steep. If you carry the speed correctly, you can get over it fairly easily. Uh, easy is not the right word, but you can get over it uh, without too many troubles. However, that lump that goes up is so disconcerting to your handling skills that it's hard to have faith that you're going to live through that. <laughs> so here's the second uh, Berminator and uh, that one really takes a toll. So. Again, I'm, I'm settling in. The family came to watch this one, which was great. So I think they're over here on this hillside somewhere. It's the first time I run into them. And that was super 
rare. They don't come to a lot of races, and I felt I felt like I wanted to try to put together a decent showing, uh, and I did okay. You know, like I I felt like good on the day. I felt like I put it all out there in this race. I didn't have a lot left over in the tank. There weren't a lot of things I would do differently. I didn't crash. I didn't have any major handling problems. I didn't have any major tactical issues, except maybe you could make an argument that this moment coming up here, I could have been more patient. So again, Chad and I are in the lead. We're carrying this race. I know those guys are right on my tail. Like I'm not, I don't have any illusions that this is all going to work out this way, but if I can get some rest at this stage like yeah it's good that's good for me so th that was the first well we're almost done with the first lap so we're running through the first lap and then i'm going to edit up some things and we'll get you through the rest of the day so it was this is the moment here right so chad slows down he's looking around like who's going to take the mantle and i go up there and i know i don't really want to do this uh so i saw i pretty soft pedal this so maybe maybe i did okay here and it's hard to tell in the video and i didn't bother smashing the power on this one but um yeah i don't know it's okay and not that bad right because then we're about to get i'm about to get passed by two other people or one other person and chad jump, jumps on this wheel and uh this gentleman was right behind me so i was fifth in the whole shot that gentleman was sixth so something happened to the other fo oh the pro rider so they're up front so we're still in the, i'm still in the top three of the category that I'm racing and I'm feeling pretty decent now we're about to turn this 180 and then we'll be going back into uh, lap number two and I'll start making some edits so again like the concept here of pacing like I, I, and I don't have great answers and I know it's like YouTube channel why do you watch a YouTube channel to try to get some tips but I'm asking you for tips <laughs> what could I do to pace these things better and here I'm like all right well, if you guys aren't gonna push I'm gonna push maybe I feel like I looked behind me and we had a little bit of a gap so I thought well maybe I'll contribute here uh, and and again I should have just been more patient there was nowhere for me to go uh, I shouldn't say there's nowhere for me to go if I had the power to go I should have gone like full tilt but carrying them on my wheel doesn't really do any good and I know they're right on my wheel so I either should have attacked or rested on their wheel I should not have pulled I uh, should not is a strong word I, I maybe if I would have watching this footage in the comfort of uh, being relaxed and drinking coffee like maybe I shouldn't have done that but whatever I did it and then I got a little bit of a carrot on a stick kind of thing because I'm trying to chase down these pro guys and I'm giving way too much effort so going under the front and contributing is fine but then pushing the pace again you're going to push the pace attack and separate or rest don't I'm kind of doing both here this is like classic crit racing mistake 101 uh, but here I am doing it so now I'm going to get up here and look for help. And there's my friends again, and they brought more friends. Okay, so now this is going to start to get a little problematic going up and down this hill 50 times. Uh, or eight times, six times, I don't know. I think our laps was seven. Um, I think I stayed on the lead lap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check. Uh, I'm going to go check the results. Be right back. All right. Well, I found the results, and uh, I ended up finished fifth out of ten. That's kind of been the story this season. I'm dead center all the time. So Nick Dahl, I think with the Momo Riders, he was next to me in the in the start. I think he went up with the Pro Riders and stayed with them. Chad ended up finishing second, and uh, either Jonathan Jonathan or Brian are ahead of me here. And I I don't I'm sorry I don't know which one is which. Uh, but I was happy to stay in front of Ben, and Ben and I had quite a battle. He was uh, behind me, and he couldn't get any closer, and I couldn't get any farther for laps four, five, and six. So overall, uh, pretty happy with the day. You know, I wish I, I could have stayed with these guys a little bit longer, but once I fell off this lead pack of three, and I, yeah, that makes sense. The lo lo Momo Rider must be up there with the Pro Grope. So those three stay away. I start to fade right here, and then this is where I'm going to be basically the rest of the entire race is off in no man's land by myself. You know, it could have been worse. I'm, I'm happy. Again, I'm happy with the results. Not really the results. I'm happy with the effort, the personal effort I put forth. And so hopefully you feel that way too. Whenever you race, hopefully you, you feel like, you know what, I gave everything I had on that particular day. And um, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So it's okay. I still had a lot of fun racing my bike. Uh, I really struggled. Oh, that's the Momo rider. Never mind. All right. Well, he's going to make a heck of a comeback and end up taking the win. Uh, so he's going to close that gap. Dang. Now I'm, re <laughs> I'm really, now I'm a little bit more upset. Okay. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I wish I was faster. I feel like I'm this close to turning okay. the corner. All right, here we are later in the race now. I'm going to see uh, pro rider Dan Teeters. And I'm like, whoa, what happened, Dan? Why are you back here with me? And then later on, like two laps later, Dan fixes his flat tire, which is what his problem was. He came up and he's like, hey, jump on my wheel. 
So Dan, that morning, was racing in Chicago and won the, I think he won the Masters category in Chicago, and then he was coming up here to race the Pro category, and then unfortunately had a flat tire, so that was his, uh, that was his day. Uh, but I appreciate him trying to coax me through the rest of these laps here and, and stay where I was, which to, was probably very helpful to get that extra little motivation when I'm out in no man's land and uh, I'm going to go you know, much faster, I'm sure, than I would have for however long I can stay on Dan's wheel, which is probably about half a lap I think we stick together. And um, again, I'm grateful for that. Uh, ben was... Ben doesn't quit, right? So Ben is on my wheel, and I'm thinking, I think I figured out I was in fifth by this point in the race. This is laps and laps later. And I'm like, if I could just hang on, I'd be happy with fifth. Uh, so this is finishing up. And then I'm just going to show you real quick the whole shot from the 3-4 race, the front camera, in classic GoPro fashion. Uh, totally failed the whole shot. This is the only whole shot I've won in many, many years. Uh, the next race when I do the Masters 3-4. And... Let's jump to that. Yeah, that was it. I was confused. I thought I had one more lap, but thankfully I didn't. So my friend Brett got the whole shot here. You can see that's me taking the whole shot. Uh, we'll play that again a few times. I got Davis winning the... Whatever what do you call it? it? What do you call it? I don't know. Anyway, there I am. Woohoo! So uh, my whole shot victory became because they were pinching me up, and I'm like, oh, hell no! <laughs> I punched my way through there. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks, guys.